Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Barbie Love. Today's the day I've been so excited about. I'm going to see a man that's got uh, a bunch, a bunch of Barbie stuff. He said a bunch, a bunch of vintage Barbie stuff. So but that's it, exciting. It is a bunch of Barbie stuff. Let's go. Antique store, ready to get some Barbie. Yeah, Barbie stuff. 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 They just gonna let me have free reign, huh? Free reign, go do it. See what you see. Oh, awesome Healy. Oh, this is the whole thing, the little socks and shoes and. Do what? I see the little box of shoes and stuff you were talking about. Oh, there's all kind of stuff there. Oh yeah. There is. No. I don't know who that is. Spaceman. That's a spaceman. How you getting along? Oh, pretty good. What are you filming? I have a, I have a, a doll channel on oh, YouTube. Oh, okay. I've got right. people and about Barbie dolls. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious what you were filming. Yeah. Now, all these right here uh -huh. still in the box. Oh, you got some white and stuff. Okay. You I'll had it compacted them. pretty small there. Do I? You I had it packed up. Packed yeah, good. I had it packed up. Yeah. Things are. Oh yeah. Yeah, she got it. Still in the box. Thanks. And I know how much they're worth, so <laughs> yeah, it's up to you to. Well, I mean. Look here. I'm trying to look. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just telling you what's there. There's so much. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> I think there's some in that uh, case too. So while y'all looking, I'll be over here. All right. Thank you, Bob. Uh huh. We'll make sure you got some. Huh? these you have to look on the back i can't read no i can't They're tell probably 70s yes. i mean they look 70s style Not really many dolls. Nope. Just accessories. All right. Oh. I want them. I will take it. Okay. I want it all. I can't believe. I bought it all. Oh my gosh, what do you see? Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell some on eBay for sure because I can't keep all this, but there's a few good things in there that I will be keeping. And so be sure to check out my eBay because uh, yeah, I'm gonna be putting a lot of things on there for sale. I bought it all. You 
pay with a credit card up front. Okay. Want to? You'd rather me give you cash? Doesn't matter. You gotta pay taxes to anyone? Huh? You gotta pay tax? No matter. I got, yeah, gotta take taxes. Honey, you gotta pay those taxes. But thanks for trying. He's always trying to get it cheaper for me. Yeah, I feel good. He knew that I would now. So I didn't think there were any dolls in the slot. That I got an antique mall. But guess what? They were inside this house. So we're going to take a look at the house first. And then I'm going to show you the dolls. <gasps> you don't want to miss that. So let's start with the house. Let's we'll start with the house. After a butter popcorn jelly bean. Mmm. If you haven't tried those, they're so good. So here's the front of the Barbie house. It's got the little latch. And it still smells good. It smells like that vinyl that you remember from your childhood. And here's a Barbie on the front with the flowers. So you just unlatch this. This is dated 1968. So we're going to open it. Well, let me go around it first. Here's a Barbie on this side with white hair. Barbie family house. So this is the would be the front of the house actually. Here's another side with another. I think that would maybe be France. It could be Barbie. Not sure. It says Barbie family house. So family. So and then you open it up. Let's get it open here. So here's the room, here's the room, and actually I think this little indentions is where you would put your Barbies. So here's a room with a chandelier, and there's a little place to hang clothes. Right, I don't know. Maybe the hook fell off, but there's one on the other side. Here's the door, it doesn't open. I guess these little inserts right here is for your doll. And here's a room right here. I do have a couple of pieces of furniture that goes with it. I'm going to say this is the bedroom. What do you think? Should that be the bedroom? Not a lot of furniture. There's a little bed. I don't see any dates on these. I don't know if this actually came with this set. If anything came with this house. And I have a little table and chairs. A flower vinyl top. Plastic. So I'm going to say this is the dining room. I'm going to say that's the dining room because of the chandelier. And that's the bedroom. And there is a place to hang some clothes over here. Don't know. This is just what the bed looks like. And there's a rug. So I'm just going to kind of put it. Well, if I hang clothes up, I don't need to put it right there. So that's what the house looks like. So yes, there were some dolls in there. I'm going to show you the dolls. The outfits are great. The dolls are a little dirty, need a little cleaning up. This is a clone doll, but she's wearing the Cinderella, Cinderella dress, which is in perfect, perfect condition. No silvering at all. I just need to steam it a little bit to get it straightened out. But it had the whole set, the poor Cinderella, uh, the ball Cinderella, and the little broom. And I'll have to see what else goes that set. But that was in there in this dress. It's just wrinkled from the storage, but it's perfect. All the glitter. Oh, I'm so thrilled to have this dress. Next, there's a Francie. This is the short hair Francie. She still has her original ribbon. It is a lavender color. And her original dress is also in the slot. And it don't look like it's ever been on her. I'm going to get it out and show, show that too.
And I'm really excited for him. Look at this Allen. I have several Allens, but I don't have an Allen like this Allen. Look at his hair. There's not one place, of, there's not one rub at all on his head. Usually right in here, you find some little scrapes, some little rubs to his little waves on his hair right there. Oh my gosh, he's perfect. Perfect. Here's another. This is a Ben Leg Francie. She's perfect too. I looked at her eyelashes. They're all there. Her original swimsuits in there and it looks perfect. I just can't quit using the word perfect because this stuff is just remarkable. And if I can sell some, I can make some money. That's a big if. This right here. It's not a TNT, it's a standard. Oh yeah, the standard with the pink ribbon and her original 80 something dollar swimsuit was in there. So I'm gonna get that on her. And isn't this a cute clone outfit with a little butterfly? There's so many clothes. I just try to go through this quick. There's a PJ. PJs don't bring that much money. Her hair's down, but her original beads are in there and her glasses and her swimsuit. So I can get her all back together, and her hair's so shiny still. Look how sh look at that shine. She's going to be a great one. A living Barbie. Of course, she's wearing a uh, little red riding hood. Here's the cape, and here is the wolf head that was in there also. And her original swimsuit. No silver ring. I'm, I'll have to get it on her. I'm going to have to get it on her. Couple of skippers. Now, this shirt right here, I just got to bring this up. This is a Ricky shirt. I had one of these one time and sold it as a skipper shirt, but this is a Ricky shirt. So I'm glad I got another one. I'll keep this one because I have about three or four Rickies now and I don't have many clothes for Ricky, but a lot of people probably think this does go to skimmer because that's but this is a Ricky shirt and this is a long hair bin leg oh no twists and turns so it's the first bin leg skipper and her original outfits in there too in perfect condition this one's nude but this is we know what this is and I have her swimsuit looks like original ribbons the way they're tied I can't tie that well She's got, is there anything wrong with her? There's a little bit of place on her foot right here where it's just a little split. That's all. But have her original suit it looks great. This is another clone. I'm not sure which one she is, but look at this cute clone outfit with the little ruffle up top and the red pants. And she's got a pair of shoes on. These could be, you know, they're soft. I think they're clone shoes. The dolls need a little bit of cleaning, but the clothes on them look great. I don't know why that is over the years. The, the dolls just turn, maybe from the oils of your fingers. What do you think that's from? Let me know. Okay, let's look at some unbelievable clothes. Sit so at the table because I have unopened packages I want to show you. I'll go through these quick as I can. So please stay with me. Don't rush through because these are so well worth uh, waiting for and um, learning about. The first one I want to show you is I got this unopened Best Buy and it's got Steffi and Christy on it. I don't think I have anything with Christy on the package. I may have. I knew, knew I have one other Best Buy outfit that's unopened. This is a 1971, y'all. 1971 mint in the package. And I love these pheasant style dresses. I always like wearing those myself. And so this, see, I still come like earrings. And I got this one. This is a 1970-71. I think it says 71 on the package. It's called Checker Chums. Look at this with the little purse and the red socks and shoes. And here's the, here's the 
picture on the back of it. Isn't this so cute? And this is a Francie. I have a couple of Francies, but I'm so glad to add some more unopened ones to my collection. This one is called, and it's still got the original sticker up here, what it's called, Plaid Plans. And it has 68 on the box, but I've checked out some places where it says it was made from 70 71. Who knows? I don't know what the 69 is. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just on it. But this is it. So it's got a scarf. It, it's just a lot of multiple, multiple pieces in another one and opened. And you can see, boy, oh, Francie looks like she's getting down over here. Look at Francie. She's doing a twist. And that's the unopened Mattel. And I got some clone stuff. I want to start with this one. This is a J.C. Penney's. You can see right there. It says J.C. I don't know which way I have this turned, if it's backwards or not. But it's J.C. Penney's. Oh, um, fits all 11 and a half inch dolls. It's and there it is. I don't know what it's called, but there it is. And this is from the 70s. I think it says 70, 1970. Made in Hong Kong. J.C. Penney's. Um, not a year. But I see, but I'm sure it's that era because that's what all this stuff is. And it costs a whole 99 cents. A whole 99 cents. I think I can get more than that for it. That's one of my clones, but JC Penney's, it makes it a little more special. I got these whole bunch packages of Petite. So this is a little line called Petite. And it says the whole collection is on the back you can see all of the outfits that they offered and i have several of them i got this little pink outfit right here and this is all uh, made exclusively for ljn toys fifth avenue new york new york in the british crown colony of hong kong so it's made in hong kong sold through new york What's happening? Hmm. I don't know. Let's move on. Here's a little red outfit. It's oh, and there's the names on the back. Let me back up here. This is called Pretty Pretty Peasant. Pretty Peasant. It's red. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? This one is called Lavender Lovely. Lavender Lovely. Here's a like a snake skin. It's called Midnight Taxi. Midnight Taxi. Here's another coat. This one is called the Blue Max. It's a dark blue. It's got a little stripe right here. Oh, you can see right here. It's really, really, really cute. These are just blowing my mind. Um, this one is called, where's the one with the fur? Avery Ski? Something about ski. No skis, but it's got a fur, it's got fur and it's cute. It's, it's mostly brown. Brown. These cost, I think I saw like 50 cents on the package on one. Yeah, these were like 59 cents originally sold at AM and A. I can't tell. But it was, they were like 50 cents when they were sold back in the 70s. Um, this one is called. Suede and Stripes Forever. That's what this one's called. Look at the boots. Oh, I'd love to open all these and put them on dolls. But, I mean, how do you do that? How do you make yourself open on? I have opened some 80s stuff, and, or some 90s stuff, mostly. Uh, I may have opened one thing that was from the 70s. But, um, and it's hard to open them. And look at this green. This green is called... 
Knickerbocker holiday. Knickerbocker holiday. She's got short pants with little buckles on them. And that's got a few more unopened items. These, I have no idea if you know what these are. And I know there's some people out there because I got the smartest subscribers I've ever seen. Oh, people that watch my videos, you are so smart. This has no way to identify it whatsoever. There's no marking. It's still attached to the card. It's just not in a box. See, they sewed them on back then. Mattel sewed things on too. That's why sometimes you can find little holes in things in it. So I think I've seen this, actually seen this little purse. But it's suede and stripes. Looks so 70s. There's that one. And this is a jumpsuit with a with a helmet. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure what this one is all about, but it's uh, maybe it's a space suit, kind of. I, I, I don't know. What do you think? And this last one is actually a long white gown, and it's got this sparkly design that just sparkles and glamours with different colors. It's got red and blue a reddish blue, a teal maybe, and a ruby red, and the little gold dimple purse and shoes, and it's really still really clean. These things were packaged so well. So that's what I got. So that's what I got in unopened stuff. Oh my, I may have to make another video to show the other stuff. So um, yeah, I'll be showing a lot of my unopened stuff next week. I open stuff. Yeah, that's one of them stuff. So give me a like, share, subscribe, see this Barbie love. Don't forget to come back next week when I show the rest of the of the outfits. Cause I'll, um, well, I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I got two boxes like this, and everything was divided with tissue paper, and the clothes in these are immaculate clean. I got two boxes of these and tons and tons of accessories. So I'll make a separate video and uh, hopefully you like both of them. All right, well, anyway, happy Barbie hunting. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you later.